Vintage sounds are hard to replicate, so going for heritage is one way to guarantee you get that classic tone without too much hard work. Today, we're going to be comparing two kits that are thoroughbred vintage, both with a rich legacy and distinct construction techniques that make their brand synonymous with their tone and their legacy timeless. One of these is the Gretsch USA Broadcaster, and the second is the Pearl President Phenolic Series 75th Anniversary model. This video is not meant to demonstrate one being better than the other, more like a tonal comparison with no wrong answers. Let's get started. Introduced in 1935, the Broadcaster series soon became legendary, responsible for their iconic tagline, that great Gretsch sound, that has made its way to players such as Max Roach, Jimmy Cobb, and many more since its release. Sought after by players, recording engineers, and producers alike for their warmth and control sustain, they fit into a range of genres and work as well live as they do in a studio. Reissued in 2014, Gretsch has made sure to stay true to the original design, honoring the legacy of the drum that helped craft their brand. Over here, Pearl is celebrating their 75th anniversary in style, showing off their heritage beautifully with the relaunch of the first professional kit to adorn the Pearl name. Introduced in 1966, the President series uses hermetically pressurized, thermo-layered, solid phenolic shells. More on this in a bit. Extremely popular with players and collectors alike, this kit is one of only 100 made and comes with a certificate of authenticity. The shells of these drums are where the action is. Made exclusively in Ridgeland, South Carolina, USA, the Broadcaster series uses a North American maple, poplar, maple combination for a thin shell with tons of musicality. This combines the balanced highs and mids of maple with the boosted low end warmth of poplar, achieving that classic vintage thump effortlessly. To support such a thin shell, an interior ply scarf joint adds structural integrity to support the tension of tuning. As I said earlier, the Pearl President series uses hermetically pressurized, thermo-layered phenolic shells. This process uses alternating layers of thin paper and thermoplastic resin, which is then formed under extreme pressurized heat as an alternative to a layered ply design that you find here on the broadcaster. This process makes a 4.5 millimeter shell act like one solid drum, producing a unique and cutting clarity, which is ideal for projecting through competing volume levels and frequencies. Let's talk bearing edges. A bearing edge is where the shell meets the drum head, helping control the attack and sustain, quite an important part. Both of these kits use different bearing edge designs to help craft their tone. This Gretsch has a reverse roundover bearing edge, allowing for greater surface contact between the bearing edge and the drum head, resulting in a tone which is incredibly deep and warm. And to me, that is what makes the classic Gretsch sound that you can't help but notice. This is what recording engineers love also, as the drum needs less tonal manipulation and dampening. In comparison, the President features a rounded 45 degree bearing edge. A sharper 45 degree angle helps with projection, attack and volume, giving the Pearl an advantage in cutting over competing frequencies and volumes. The rounding of the edge adds a more subtle approach to dampening than the Gretsch, while still keeping the tone balanced and resonant. To 
help get the most from these shells, hardware is essential. Both drums have had their classic hardware upgraded with more modern functionality whilst retaining that classic look. Featuring the 302 3mm double flanged hoops that offer a smooth tuning, the broadcaster's hoops are reminiscent of ones used up until the 1950s. These modern equivalents are essentially triple flanged hoops with a heavier gauge steel and a straight edge. This new design helps keep the head vibrating freely whilst keeping up with today's more assertive styles of play. To pair this, it uses heavy duty Gretsch lugs to help hold its tuning. As a quick side note, the old design was lovingly named a stick chopper hoop, as the straight nature of the hoop's edge was a notorious death sentence for drumsticks. With the modern hoops, you retain the classic look and sticks are treated far more kindly. In comparison, the Pearl uses Super Hoop 2 triple flanged 2.3mm hoops. Triple flanged hoops are usually used to achieve a more open sound. However, in this kit, the combination gets the most tone and body from the solid shell without ruining the aesthetic. With the classic Battleship lugs, dubbed this for their angular profile, the kit certainly looks the part and comes with all the modern functionality you come to expect. The T-handle bass drum rods keep up this aesthetic and maintain the classic hand-tunable function. The bass drum also comes with a muffling strip, really helping to create that warm, nostalgic response. Overall, the satin ebony finish gives this really nice, understated look on this broadcaster, which is not only going to look at home in most venues, but it's also going to add a level of authenticity to your setup. Coming in a 22 by 14 bass drum, 12 by 8 rack tom, and 16 by 16 floor tom configuration, you can achieve tonal separation easily for a warm, punchy, and dynamic kit. Gretsch have gone all out with this one, turning a revered classic into a modern day must have. In comparison, Pearl have stayed true to the original, and you can tell instantly. This one is in a timeless pearl white oyster finish and has a classic trademark vintage look with the print logo and classic hardware. This kit turns heads even amongst non-drummers. With a 22 by 14 bass drum, 13 by nine rack tom and a 16 by 16 floor tom, the drum can fill an arrangement with ease. If you see one of these in the wild, you're a lucky drummer. Both kits have a great heritage and have helped craft their brands into what they are today, emanating great vintage tones naturally without a second thought. With classic features reimagined for the modern player, both kits are one for the collection. If you have a favourite kit out of these two, let us know in the comments section below and hit subscribe. I'm Miles with Gear for Music, and thank you for watching.